Good morning all of you. Today we are going to learn Faraday's law and its applications. Before going to learn these concepts, we should have the knowledge of electric circuit, electric current, EMF, copper coil and magnetic flux. We need an operators to learn this Faraday's law. Let us see the materials required to do this activity. 26 gauge insulated copper wire, plastic glass, 2 magnets, cycle spoke, LED, cello tape, etc. Using all these materials, we need to prepare an apparatus as shown here. This apparatus was prepared and demonstrated by Mr. Doni Pudi Venkateswar Rao, School Assistant Physical Science, working in Jilla Parishat High School, Vidrupauru, Ganavaram Mandal, Krishna District. Observe this activity carefully. After observing this video, try to predict the reasons for your observations and answer the following questions. What changes do you observe in LED? when magnets attached to the cycle spoke are rotating. What is the reason for glowing of LED where there is no source of electricity in the circuit? Copper wire around the plastic glass acts like a closed loop or a coil. Here two magnets are attached to a cycle spoke with a cello tape. When we rotate cycle spoke, magnets also rotate along with their magnetic fields. This process causes a change in magnetic flux in the copper coil. This change in magnetic flux will generate electricity to glow LED. Michael Faraday called this electric current generated in this circuit where there is no source of electricity as induced electric current and this EMF as induced EMF. Let us learn the definition for Faraday's law. The induced EMF generated in the closed loop is equals to rate of change of magnetic flux passing through it. Now it is time to learn some day to day life applications of Faraday's law. The process of producing music from a music player which has a cassette in it. The process of getting money and information from an ATM machine when we kept an ATM card in it. Fireless cooking using induction stove. The process of checking people in fully crowded places like airports, shopping malls, temples, etc. using security systems. All these actions and activities takes place based on the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. From this video, we have learnt Faraday's law and some of its day-to-day -day life applications. Now try to answer these questions. Define Faraday's law. Give any two applications of Faraday's law of induction in daily life. Thank you so much for watching. 